stock market investing is the best passive income for full-time nurses and I would even argue that it is the best kind of investment that you can do if you are working full-time as a nurse. Hi, my name is Elaine. I'm also known as Nurse Invest. I am a full-time nurse practitioner and I also love investing because I love making my money work for me. Now, uh, talking about investments, I want to talk about different kinds of investments and what I think is the best kind of investment for nurses because a lot of people or a lot of things that you see in social media, like including real estate, other businesses, you know, trading and all that stuff. I want to kind of give you my two cents when it comes to investments as somebody who has been investing for, you know, a few years now. Not to mention, I'm also a certified financial educator. I have been invited to the New York Stock Exchange and also the NASDAQ to ring the bell. I built an educational platform for nurses and there are about 200,000 nurses who follow me across all my social media platforms. So as nurses, we work for our money, meaning that the income that we make from our jobs is considered active income. Now, when we talk about passive incomes, it's one of those buzzwords that everyone's talking about. Everyone's passive income. Here are the ways that you can make passive income, but the truth is there is really no such thing as a truly passive income, right? And there are a lot of things that you can invest in to gain passive income. And today I want to talk about why stock market investing is the best passive income or as close to passive income out there. So first of all, what is an investment and what is passive income, right? So an investment is something that you buy in hopes that it will appreciate over time. So it requires time, effort, and money. So all those three are always included, um, sometimes more than the other, but it requires time, effort, and money. And when I talk about passive income, it is an income or money that you earn with very minimal effort. And things like, you know, like stocks, dividend stocks, interest on, you know, savings account, sometimes even royalties from like books or like songs could be considered passive income. And I know a lot of people are choosing between having real estate or stock market investing as something that they can aid passive income on. But the truth is, as somebody who has been investing in both of those assets, I'm going to tell you why I think real estate really is not passive and why I think stock market investing works a little bit more if you have a full-time job. Here are the reasons why I love stock market investing. So initially I said that the uh, investments require time, effort, and money. So when it comes to money, uh, when we talk about, you know, investments, I'm mainly talking about capital. So this is the initial amount of money that you need to make that investment. When it comes to real estate, according to Zillow, the average houses right now in the United States is $280,000. And with using a conventional loan, you would need at least $14,000 as down payment. Now there are programs where you can have no down, you know, that kind of stuff. But over the long run, with closing costs and everything, the amount of money that you are going to be putting in to purchase real estate is much higher than actually investing in the stock market. In the stock market, the barrier to entry when it comes to like capital or money that you have to use to make that initial investment is as low as like a dollar right? There are such things as fractional shares as well, where you can buy uh, shares in the stock market um, without fully buying the full share and just getting a fractional share of the company. And you can literally like invest with less than a dollar if you want to. So when it comes to money, the barrier of entry in the stock market is much lower. You don't need that high of a capital. And even with real estate, you can invest in real estate through the stock market by investing in REITs. So REITs are real estate investment trusts. And by investing in REITs, you are investing in companies that owns, operates, or finances income generating real estate within the stock market. The second thing is 
effort. We have a long-term rental. We have a real estate property that we rent out to our tenants. And I'm telling you now that real estate is not passive. It is another full-time job. And I have talked to a bunch of other nurses who are doing real estate that it is something that you don't just do on the side and not expect to be putting in any effort right so some of the things that you can expect when owning real estate whether it's short-term rentals whether it's long-term rentals whether it's house flipping or house hacking is that real estate requires maintenance and although there are things that you have to do when it comes to your investment portfolio in the stock market like rebalancing your portfolio the real estate on the other hand like requires a lot of active maintenance meaning that the house when you buy it you have to really take care of it so if you rent it out to a tenant and then something breaks you are going to be forced to you know like use your money to fix that i remember one time like we had a problem with our dishwasher and our tenants um had to call us in the middle of the night telling us the dishwasher is not working and so the next day my husband had to go there hire a plumber to get it checked so if there is something broken in the house if something goes wrong if there is repairs maintenance or any complaints from the tenant you are gonna need to deal with that as the landlord now one thing that you can do to avoid this you know effort when it comes to like managing your real estate is to hiring a property manager which as is an expense and it really cuts into your profits if your goal with real estate is cash flow which you know for some i would ar even argue that real estate is really for long-term wealth versus like short-term cash flows but you know we could do another video on that and the reason why i love stock market investing for for this you know like things that i had just mentioned is that when i buy stocks when i buy bonds or when i invest in the stock market i literally only visit it quarterly to rebalance it or look at my portfolio i don't like to buy and sell stocks because that is called trading that is not something that i do that is not something that i recommend doing if you're investing long term in the market but yeah so it requires very little maintenance when it comes to investing in the stock market so that's the number two reason why i love stock market investing and why i recommend it to nurses who work full-time three reason why i love stock market investing is because like what i had mentioned earlier when i invest i invest long term it is an investment for a reason. It's not something that I expect would make me money in the next like year or so. Because if that is the case, then you are better off just putting your money in a high yield savings account or certificate of deposit. So um, if you're investing, invest for long term. If you're investing in the stock market, I always say it's either you are going to be investing, you know, like for more than 10 years. That's literally the time that it takes for for you to have like good returns when it comes to stock market investing. Now, talking about returns uh, in the last 90 years that like you can see the returns of the stock market up here. As you can see, the stock market over the last 150 years has had an upward trend, meaning that if you're investing long term, then you have a better chance of having better returns in your investment. Even though past, you know, returns are not guaranteed, you can see that the data does not lie. Um, I always say that we live in a capitalist, you know, society and the stock market is essential in our economy to to function. So if you invest in the stock market and you think that the stock market is going to go down to zero, that just means that the whole economy in the USA is going to go down to zero, which is highly unlikely, you know, going to happen. So those are the three main things why I love stock market investing and why I recommend for nurses who are working full time because it requires low capital to start or low money to start. It requires very little effort and it's really as close to passive income as you can get 
And number three is that over time, it has dependable results. You're probably wondering, how do I invest in stock market? I will be having my investing class this week. So if you want to sign up for it, the link is going to be below. This is also the link in here. I teach how stock market investing can help you achieve financial freedom as a nurse and also how to get started with stock market investing. So if you are working full time, don't have time to, um, you know, like manage like all this real estate investments and you truly love the work that you do as a nurse, then stock market investing is the investment for you. The only thing with stock market investing is that it does require patience and consistency. And if you want to get to your goal faster or get to your number faster and, you know, invest more, then you'd have to be making more money and investing more money. And that is the only caveat really when it comes to stock market investing. It requires more money being invested if you want to get to your financial freedom earlier. But it works for me because I work a full time job. I am a working mom. I also have, you know, side hustles. I have my husband do our real estate for us because that's not something that I can do. And I don't even really enjoy dealing with tenants in, to begin with. So I, I like stock market investing is very underrated when it comes to investments. And a lot of people do think that it is kind of like gambling, which if you join my class this coming, you know, Friday, then I will teach you or I will show you why it is not the same thing as gambling. But um, yeah, so hopefully this video is valuable for you. And I love reaching out to nurses and my goal is to make a million millionaire nurses in my lifetime. So yeah, so like and subscribe and hope that you are taking the steps to be financially free as a nurse and generating more passive income because at the end of the day, all we really want to get back is our time and as much as possible we want to make more money without much you know like effort and all this other things so yeah so i'll see you guys in the next video bye